rock of the day. Today, we have the banded iron formation, or BIF, from the Marquette Iron Range, specifically the Nagani Iron Formation. The formation is 2.1 billion year years old, which puts it during the Precambrian Super Eon, the Proterozoic Eon, and the Paleoproterozoic in the Ryacian period. The depositional layers resulted from fluctuating oxygen levels caused by ancient cyanobacteria, or stromatolites, which were deposited in a shallow water ocean. The layers alternate between low oxygen, high silica, uh, jasper, or ferruginous quartz, which is a type of microcrystalline quartz chert. Um, and then over here, we have this blackish gray silver, low silica, high iron hematite or magnetite. And this ties closely to the Kona Dolomite formation in Marquette County. Kona Dolomite contains stromatolites, which are fossilized cyanobacteria, which ess essentially were the first fossils we have evidence of. And I have a fragment of which right here. You can kind of see some natural structures going on. So the oldest fossils on Earth that we have are stromatolites originating from Australia. Marquettes are slightly younger, but these bacteria were some of the first to start using a proto form of photosynthesis. It wasn't quite what we see today, using sunlight to take CO2 and water to produce glucose and oxygen. Instead, they consumed a chemical soup from ocean vents that most creatures today would consider to be toxic, to produce what we assume was glucose and oxygen. It wasn't efficient, but it worked. Due to this process not being necessarily efficient or reliable for a good food source, the bacteria would go into a dormant state when food supply was low. This resulted in the layers that we see in BIF. When the bacteria produced a lot of oxygen, it reacted with dissolved iron in the water and precipitated, forming the hematite. And then when there wasn't much iron being precipitated and the bacteria was dormant, we were left with the jasper. So, all these little wavy patterns we see right here, and some of the fragments, um, are results of metamorphism, where the rock was subjected to intense heat and pressure, which caused it to warp. History fact about this. Lake Superior iron deposits were responsible for more than 90% of the nation's iron supply during the peak of World War II. Today, this number is closer to 20% and is declining. Thank you for watching, and come back tomorrow for the next